Shooksauce 2 has been out for about a week now, and I just want to cover everything that I've learned from using it over the past couple of weeks and using it in beta as well. Today, I'm going to show you guys why I believe this is the best plugin for After Effects for music video editors and honestly just for anybody in general. This is Shakesauce 2 right here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use it today. If you want to go down below, you can also get it for free for one week if you use the code TAPES at checkout. Go down below, grab it, snag it. You get it for free for a week. Why wouldn't you, you know? So pretty much the way it works is if we start off here, you guys can see we have constant. Oh, but let me just show you an example. If I put on, uh, for example, earthquake, I hit the check mark here. It's going to put this over the entire composition and it's going to add a constant shape to everything, which honestly looks super sick for some clips. And then if we go over to keyframed right here, you guys can see we have a bunch of these keyframed shakes. These are my absolute favorite and they were my favorite part about Shake Sauce V1, which we have right here. So if you will go in between your two clips here, let's say we want to do uh, Twitch, for example. All you have to do is set your playhead in between your two clips and then hit the check mark and boom, it instantly adds a transition. And then to add our next one here, all we have to do is click off the blue layer, go in between the next two and let's do a different one. That is so fire. Let's go and click off the blue one and then we're going to add a different one. Let's go stomp. I think that works so well with the energy of the video. And we'll put another one right here. Let's go zoom twist. So hard, guys. And the sickest part about all this is you could actually create your own custom shakes inside of here. So if you go over to the custom tab and you press plus here, we can create our own shake. So now if we go in between like this clip right here, pretty much what you want to do is set a keyframe for each one. And then we're going to turn the amplitude up in the middle and the frequency up just a little bit, just so we get a little bit of that blur there. And then we're going to go to about here and we're going to set keyframes and we're going to bring them down to zero. And then we're going to go to about here and bring these down to zero as well. So if I play this through, you get a little like shake there. It does not look the greatest. It definitely needs some work. So let's say we mess around and then you can go over to rotation and scale. And let's say we keyframe all of these at zero and then we'll go to the middle and keyframe all of them. You can turn up the rotation frequency, the scale. We'll just turn those all up a little bit. We play it through. Obviously it's not the best looking shake. You definitely want to dial in and spend a little bit more time on it. I'm going to go ahead and turn that to that. Feel free to play around with some more keyframes. Just make sure before you're done, you go to the middle and you hit set center keyframes. And a little tip as well, if you guys want to easy ease any of these, just hold option and click the keyframes and then they become easy eased just like so. Or if you're used to more of a sapphire shake option, you can do all that inside of here. This kind of replicates that a little bit more. So if you're not familiar with this UI and you want to use something like this, go ahead and use this if you're more comfortable with it. So now you want to go ahead and hit save here. Let's just call this uh, Tiny Tapes Shake. We're going to go ahead and hit save now. And if we go over to presets, we can sort it by custom. And you guys can see we have Tiny Tapes Shake here. Now, if you go ahead and hit this download button, you could actually save this to your computer and send it to your friend. And then once your friend has it, they can go ahead and hit this upload one here and they just click it and they open up the dot shake file. And then you, your friend has your shake and you have your friend shake. It's a great way to send around sauce and put people onto your stuff. Or if you're a creator, just like me, you could release your own shake sauce preset pack and sell presets for it for others to buy. It's a great way to make passive income as an editor. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and do that. So if you download the one week free trial, you can experiment with all this, export all your shake files, and then sell them through Instagram or whatever. Anyways, guys, this has been Shake Sauce. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and you guys can grab it down below and get a free week trial right now. Go check it out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.